Greetings, my friends. Welcome back to Mike Allen from Chicagoland. As the sign said, I am at Cave and Rock State Park and Lodge, and this is gonna be a starting point for this video today. I'm gonna check this place out, and then uh, just kind of wing it from there. Maybe go along the uh, Ohio River here and check out a lot of the small towns and see what they have to offer, and then eventually make it to my hotel for the evening. So come along with me as I continue to explore this region of Southern Illinois. Let's get started. <music> Cave in Rock State Park sits right along the Ohio River here and it's famous for having a cave inside a rock formation right along the shores of the river and I'm gonna go check that out here in a short while. State Park also offers you opportunities to rent cabins and they have an on-site restaurant as well. Driving past the restaurant and the cabins here it's just a little bit of a short drive you could probably walk it as well to the cave in the rock. It's a nice pretty drive along the river. And along the way they do have these lookout areas that you can just sit down and just kind of take in the view of the Ohio River. And that is the state of Kentucky on the other side of the river. All along the shoreline here, they've got these same rock formations that I saw at the Garden of the Gods. Some information about the cave. It's what it looks like in picture. And some history behind it. How the West Was One was filmed here. It talks about how the state of Illinois took control of this land and turned it into a park. As well as some more earlier times. recreational purposes and right along this sandy shoreline is the cave in rock now there's a lot of legends attached to this site but it is a known fact that travelers traveling traveling along the river would stop here to rest and it eventually became uh, quite a tourist attraction in the early part of the 20th century Let's head inside and check it out. Inside the cave in rock now, and as you can see up here, some appears to be an opening at the park district has covered. I should add it's probably about 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here too. Feels like natural air conditioning. Cave and Rock is just around that bend there, but I also wanted to check out what's up along here. Ah, just another overlook. Chance to see the river from another vantage point. Stopped off in the actual town of Cave and Rock now and just absolutely love 
these small downstate towns. That's the Welcome Center right there, saying tourists are welcome. And the Main Street, that you could tell was once vibrant, but unfortunately, many shuttered businesses. Now this line of cars here, I'm waiting for that car ferry right there to take you across into Kentucky. The area even has a spot where you can get snacks at if you were so inclined. I'm going to be eating later. But I do want to check out the car ferry pulling into this side of the river. And it's making its way over to the Illinois side, bringing the Kentucky cars back over here. The cave in the rock was noted for being a haven for thieves and robbers but one of the interesting things I just found out here was that Lewis and Clark passed through here on their voyage west in the fall of 1803 and the town of cave and rock has also created a veterans memorial here to the prisoners of war missing in action. Stopped off here at the E-Town River Restaurant here in Elizabethtown, Illinois. It's about 10 miles west of Cave In Rock in Cave In Rock State Park. So let's head inside and get some lunch. So this is a pretty unique experience having lunch on the actual Ohio River and it's funny when people actually get up and walk around you can feel the building sway a little bit so pretty cool experience so far. So I ended up with the river catfish, fried pickles, and let's see, hush puppies. Some of the river catfish here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I don't want to get the uh, catfish in the mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Very tasty. That's right. Oh, right here. I didn't say it. Sorry about that. And the hot sauce. So cool, this place. It's right on the river. You feel it swaying back and forth. You can sit outside and get a view of the river, too. Well, you know a place is good when a place is jam-packed with locals. Just wonderful salt-of-the-earth people. Eating lunch in a nice river restaurant right here. Where else can you eat catfish straight out of the water? Not many places in Illinois, that's for sure. Elizabethtown is also the county seat of Hardin County. And up there is the county courthouse. closer look at this old coca-cola sign these small towns are littered with things like this and these small town post offices just part of the neighborhood here I've heard stories of how postal workers have quite the connection with the folks in these small towns 
Looks like they erected a World War II memorial here in front of the county courthouse. Erected by the citizens of Harding County in memory of our heroes who gave their lives for the freedom of our country on land, on air, and sea. And I love how this building has a clock tower up top. Reminds me of Back to the Future. This looks to have been an old filling station. Or a mechanic shop. And the historic Rose Hotel here in Elizabethtown is the oldest hotel in the state of Illinois still in operation today. This is it. Historic Rose Hotel. hotel they got this little gazebo here Stopped off in the town of Rosa Claire for a second just to kind of check out these small town buildings here that uh, have a lot of charm to them. Here's City Hall. And the city of Rosa Claire set up a monument here to miners next to another memorial up here that I want to check out. In honor of the floor spar miners, past and present, who have sacrificed and contributed so much to our community, county, and nation. Some history about the town. with its population information and some information about mining of fluorite here in the town and region. I thought this was interesting here. It shows the water level on this levee. March of 2018, May of 2011. February 1937. Here's the other side. Protecting the town from flooding rivers. And one last shot of the Ohio River until my next video. And the public library here in town sits right here on Main Street. to be close for the day. It is Saturday. Inside this old building along the main part of town are some old cars. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Southern Illinois. Had a great time today. Got to see a lot of really cool things that I normally would never get to see back home. Eating catfish right out of the Ohio River. Seeing a river ferry take cars between Illinois and Kentucky on the Ohio River. Uh, Cave and Rock State Park. Uh, it was just a very fun time today and a lot of unique experiences that I will definitely cherish and take with me as I continue on this uh, YouTube journey. So going forward, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. You can also help me out in other ways. I'll put the links in the description below. Anyways, this is Mike Allen from Chicagoland, signing off from downstate Illinois. I'll be back next Friday with one last video from this downstate Illinois region. Until then, don't you go changing.